Thika Water and Sewage Company, the Wasco, has assured Thika residents that the current water shortage and water rationing program will be a thing of the past once the Danish-funded water project is complete. This project, when complete, will add an extra 36,000 cubic meters, which is 36 million liters of water per day. In this project, the company plans to tap water at the junction of the Kiama and Thika rivers in Muranga County. This project is funded by Danida Sustainable Infrastructure Finance and is now at the design stage. It will also construct three more sewage plants at Pilot, Nanga and Kilimambogo to increase sewage connection by 7,000 cubic meters, which is 7 million liters of sewer collection per day. The project is currently in the design stage, which is expected to complete in October this year. And thereafter, procurement of works which will last up to early 2024, when the contractor will start undertaking the construction works. The WASCO Managing Director, Engineer Moses Kenya, says that the project will involve, among other things, the construction of a 10-meter high dam on the Chania River and another 10-meter high dam at the Thika River 3A location. We have a program already in place that is uh, the Dika Water Supply Program by uh, Denmark, supported by our national government and uh, the county government. Uh, and already the detailed design is in progress. Uh, and uh, with this one, we are not only concentrating on increasing production, but also ensuring there is adequate storage. So there will be two uh, 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 dams that will be built, uh, one on Thika River and uh, the other one on Chania River. So that at least during the dry season, we shall have impounded uh, adequate water that can take us through dry seasons that uh, we have of late been experiencing uh, frequently. Well, uh, the situation in Thika, we have uh, tried as much as we can. Uh, particularly, we have several programs that uh, we have engaged in to ensure that uh, the, the effects of the drought does not greatly or adversely affect our supply. And uh, that has been by uh, liaising with upstream water users, uh, particularly the two major users, who is uh, Narobu Water uh, at Dakaini Dam, and also the Adi Water Works Development Agency, who are the developers and operators currently of uh, Karimeno Dam, that also supplies to, uh, to us. And uh, we have been uh, ensuring that uh, they ensure what we call compensation flow uh, is assured downstream from the dams. Uh, in addition, with the water resource use, other water resource users uh, association, we have also been patrolling uh, the upstream areas where there are the, the irrigation farms or, or, or agricultural farms have tapped from the river so that uh, they are controlled as per the water uh, uh, resource authority requirements. So we have been lasting in the WRA. They have issued the requisite uh, notices to those farms to limit them from uh, irrigation, irrig uh, irrigating with the water so that there is adequate uh, downstream. Uh, in addition, uh, other things that we have taken is a program of uh, ensuring the areas that are hard hit, like uh, Monyo, Como, uh, we have put at strategic uh, uh, areas uh, together with the county government of Kiabu uh, with the support from our governor. Uh, we have put uh, tanks in, uh, in uh, strategic places and we have been referring this with our water bosses. We have two water bosses that are ready for any emergencies uh, that are within the county. Uh, we've been supporting uh, learning institutions uh, that are hard hit, not only within the county, but uh, the sub county, but also outside. Uh, and also uh, hospitals uh, and also we 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 have uh, the, the next program is to educate our population in regard to water conservation measures 
uh, so that they use the water that is available sparingly. Uh, we know the demand is very high because of the, uh, the dry season. You find there are some who want to uh, and, uh, they, 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 they irrigate all the water, they are flowers, they are gardens, they are grass. Uh, we would request that uh, that is not now a key priority at the moment. So if they can conserve, uh, it would be better so that others downstream can receive the water. So that is some of the measures we want to uh, engage a very active program to our uh, consumers on various conservation measures uh, that they can use to ensure that we do not uh, lose a lot of water. Because even now, some boreholes are drying up. Uh, some people in, here in uh, uh, the peri urban areas like uh, Gatuanyaga, uh, uh, Como and other areas, uh, they do uh, dairy farming, uh, poultry farming, and they've been using maybe their shallow wells and boreholes. They are drying up, and uh, now they resort to our water, uh, and uh, that requires or increases the demand for water. So the next program we are just about to launch is to educate our uh, customers on how they can conserve the water. The, the production has not dropped significantly. With those measures, still we are able uh, at times it goes down slightly, but we are managing. Dika District Business Association Chairman Alfred Wanyoike hailed the efforts undertaken by the WASCO to ensure Dika residents get adequate and safe drinking water. He added that this was a step in the right direction as Dika prepared itself for a city status. My name is Alfred Wanyoike, Chairman of the Business Community Dika. We are grateful for the work the WASCO is doing, not only to make Dika self-sustainable for water, but to get clean, affordable water. Well, despite the challenges of drought, the WASCO has gone ahead to make sure that water reaches everybody, even those who are far flung, because they're distributing water through their opposers, giving tanks, and also making sure that even institutions, they're supplying water with lorries to make sure that everybody has been reached by water. So. On behalf of the business community, we are saying that when the WASCO now implements this Danida project, which is being supported by Danida, Thika will be self-sufficient, not only on clean water, but affordable, adequate water for development. And uh, now that we are transiting to city status, we need hardworking the WASCO to implement all what they have promised us to do. We support them and we continue supporting them.